Hello everyone, my name is Protasilaos, also known as Prot. As you can tell from the title of this video, I am very happy to announce that my Modus themes, my highly accessible themes for GNU Emacs, are now available in Melpa. So you can install them as easily as you would install any other package, provided of course you have configured Melpa accordingly. Uh, I have two themes. One is a light theme, what I'm using currently, called Modus Operandi Theme. That's the name of the package, Modus Operandi Theme. And the other, uh, the dark theme, is called Modus Vivendi Theme. Uh, I am distributing these as standalone packages for two reasons. Uh, one is that there is no technical requirement for them to be bundled up together. One is not a prerequisite for the other, it's not a dependency. And the second reason is that I am aware that people tend to opt for either a light or a dark theme. So I don't want you to install uh, something that you would not use. You just select the theme you are interested in and you don't worry about the other one. Of course, if you are like me and you use a theme uh, that depends on the ambient light in the room, so for example, a light theme when there is a lot of light and a dark theme when it's darker outside, you can install them both and uh, configure things uh, accordingly. Uh, a few words about the themes, a few words about uh, my experience uh, submitting these to Melpa and uh, we can uh, close this uh, video. The overarching objective of these themes, of the modus themes, is to always conform with the highest accessibility uh, standard for contrast ratio, for the, the, the difference in perceived luminance between the background and the foreground values. So the standard, the technical name of the standard is WCAG triple A, 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 which means that the two colors, the background and the foreground, must have a difference in perceived luminance, a minimum difference of 7 to 1. So this is a very high standard, it's the highest of its uh, sort, and I am making sure that all the styles that I have, all the faces as they are called in Emacs uh, parlance, all the faces that are implemented in my themes use accessible color combinations of this specific standard, WCAG. So the contrast ratio is always 7 to 1 or higher. Often it is higher than 7 to 1, but 7 to 1 is the absolute minimum. This practically means that the themes are designed to be legible at all times. All interfaces, everything you see, should, all, should always but always be easy to read. There shouldn't be any combination of colors that makes things difficult. You shouldn't have to squint, you shouldn't have to increase the font size to zoom in, you shouldn't have to do anything. It should already be accessible. If it is not accessible, then it is a bug and you have to let me know about it. That's how, uh, that's the idea. That's the main uh, objective of these themes, the overarching objective of these themes. The overarching objective and at the same time, the constraint uh, within which I am supposed to design these themes. But uh, constraints are good, of course, because you are designing uh, with a specific uh, end towards something. Anyway, not to worry about the technicalities. So these themes are supposed to be very accessible and um, a concomitant reason, something that follows from this, is that uh, I have to provide as close to full coverage as possible uh, because the idea is that you will be using these themes doing some work on Emacs and you don't want, as you are working, to stumble across a color combination that is inaccessible. You don't want to use a package that is not supported because that will break your flow. That will uh, put you in a situation where you have to deal with an inaccessible color combination and that will distract you. I don't want to do that. So I am trying to provide as close to full uh, face coverage as possible. And I must say that the list of packages that I have already uh, implemented, that I already support, is rather comprehensive. 
I will switch to the graphical browser for a second. Uh, this is uh, Firefox and uh, this is uh, the git repo of the modus themes. Um, it's on gitlab.com forward slash prodesilaos forward slash modus hyphen themes. Uh, you can check the readme over here. It provides installation instru instructions, MX package install, or a declarative method using use package, or even you can install them manually if you will. Though I don't recommend you install manually because I am continuing to develop these themes. So if you install them manually, you will miss out on the updates. But if you want to do it, you can do it, of course. And here I provide the list with all the packages that are fully supported by the themes. And this is a comprehensive uh, list. Uh, of course, some of these uh, are very popular packages such as Ivy or Maggit or Org Mode. So of course I am supporting all the popular packages, Helm, but I am supporting some uh, less, some more specialized uh, packages as well. Uh, so you will have to check this and uh, see for yourself if the theme is uh, useful for you. If there is a package that you are using and it is not in this list, either uh, of two uh, possibilities applies. Either it is covered implicitly because that package inherits from some base colors, base faces, or it is not covered. If it is not covered, you will have to let me know about it and I will make sure that I implement uh, support for it uh, in a timely manner. So it will happen, no worries, just let me know about it. Uh, so that's about it with the readme. Uh, I have uh, over here, I provide a link to a wiki page with the screenshots. So in case you have not watched uh, my recent videos, uh, my videos actually on Emacs, especially the recent ones that contain the latest versions of the themes. Um, you can check these screenshots and have an idea of whether these might be interesting for you. Uh, I have lots of um, interfaces here. For example, this is the directory editor. Uh, this is the directory editor using the all the icons package. Uh, this is ediff uh, doing a three file uh, check a three file comparison, uh, then the same for the dark theme with the Maggit and the MU4E and org mode and uh, you, can, you get the idea. Uh, this is just a sample. Uh, if you check my videos, maybe you can see these themes in action. But of course, the best experience uh, is to in install them and uh, see for yourself. That's always the best you will always get. And this is uh, especially true for my videos because Chances are that uh, my recording uh, software over here is slightly distorting the colors. So what you are seeing here may not be exactly the same as what you will get on your uh, machine once you install it and run it on your own system. Uh, anyhow, uh, the idea with these themes is that they comply with the highest accessibility standard. I think this is of paramount importance because uh, Emacs is a text-based interface. We are dealing with text, so we must make sure that our text is as legible as possible. I think uh, this is uh, the primary objective that an interface that um, is implemented in text, this is the primary objective that it must uh, strive for, readability, legibility. Uh, so that's about it with the themes. Try them out. Uh, if there are issues, uh, let me know about it. Uh, you can either open an issue in uh, GitLab or uh, you can send me an email. Uh, you can, there is my email in the Git commits, uh, but don't use that one. That is just for Git. You can use my public email. It's public at protesilaos.com. I have that email also in my website. Uh, you can check it. It's on my about page. You can find it over there. I think it's also on my video channels page. I, I'm not uh, sure, uh, but uh, you can check there as well. Or just open an, an issue in uh, Melpa in sorry in GitLab, and I will see to it. Uh, that's about it with regard to the themes. Some closing remarks on uh, Melpa. Uh, I am uh, very happy to have gone through the process of, su of submitting packages to Melpa because um, the maintainers provide the contributing uh, page. They provide a document 
with uh, guidelines on what you should do in order to have a theme that can be accepted in MELPA. And uh, these are, there are a lot of quality criteria over there. Uh, it's a very detailed uh, guide. Um, and by implementing all the measures that they ask you uh, to implement, you will get a better uh, a code that is better, code that uh, has better documentation, uh, that compiles nicely and things of that nature. So I learned uh, a lot of things just by going through this process of submitting my packages to MELPA. Uh, bear in mind that MELPA is maintained by volunteers. So if you open a pull request, chances are that um, several weeks will go by before it is reviewed and um, admitted into the repository. This was the case with me. I am not complaining, of course. I'm just uh, making this uh, clear so that you should know that uh, the people that do this are volunteers. So they do this in the free time. And I want to use this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to all the people who uh, do this amazing uh, project actually of uh, maintaining uh, all these uh, community packages of making sure that these packages are of a high standard uh, that the it's not some random code and you just uh, put it in the repository the list is curated and everything you get uh, from melpa uh, has gone through uh, a, a review process and is good enough to be used on your system. So I am uh, very thankful to the people who put in their uh, valuable time for doing uh, this uh, kind of uh, job. It is extremely useful and uh, of course I cannot do more than say thanks because I cannot help you with maintaining Melta because as you already know I am not uh, fluent in ELISP, so I wouldn't be of much uh, use there. Uh, but anyway, I can at least uh, praise you in this video. <laughs> I know it's easier said than done. But anyway, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, that's the final bit of it. Uh, in conclusion, uh, I have uh, switched to Emacs. I switched to Emacs in um, July of this year, early July. Now, today, it's the 1st of December. Uh, so in this time, I have learned a lot in general. Emacs has become the e epicenter of my custom desktop session on a GNU slash Linux uh, system. I use it for practically everything. I use it to read my email. Uh, I use it for my RSS feeds. I use it to play back music, um, all sorts of things. Of course, uh, to uh, write code, to write prose. You get the idea. Emacs is basically what I do on my computer. It's what I do most of the time. It's inside of Emacs. And in this very short amount of time, uh, I have been able to learn lots and lots of useful things, things that I didn't know uh, before I switched to Emacs, even though I was a GNU slash Linux user uh, before that. I have been uh, in this uh, free software space for maybe three and a half years uh, already which is a short amount of time, but still uh, long enough to uh, pick up a few things. Uh, that's about it, folks. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. I am uh, very happy to be a part of this community. I am uh, very happy to have been able to uh, offer back something tangible in the form of these two uh, themes. I know that uh, um, these themes are not as useful as something like Magit or Org Mode or some of the other awesome packages that we have out there, but it's at least uh, a token of my appreciation, if you will, uh, for all the amazing stuff that I am getting uh, in this uh, space. That's all for now, folks. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.